Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time because it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Weather's just yucky. It is gray and rainy. We actually had a little snow last night. So I'm in the horse room. We got three products today to, to explore. We're gonna start off. It seems that I'm becoming overwhelmed with mattresses. <laughs> it's like every mattress guy on the, on the street wants me to do a video. Well, this is the Elevens camping mattress. Let's take a look. Now this has, this has a lot of interest to me. Uh, mostly because it has a lot of interest to Yappy. Sometimes she wants to sleep in the lower bunk with her puppies. And she's not happy with the bunk mattress. Oh no, this is cool. If, it's, if this is what I think it is, this is cool. plastic it is indeed what I thought it was it is a carry bag most handy so here's our mattress we gotta we gotta inflate it of a mattress. That's not very soft. We got we got to inflate it. Well we don't get it inflated. We just get we just have to get it out of the bag. I like that. Built in straps. Most handy. While we're waiting for that to air up. So that's, that is a mattress from a, one of our bunks. Ha! A little, little bit long, but that's okay. I don't know how long I should I should wait. It, it's a little bit, still a little bit flat. We'll wait while we're waiting on the the new bunk mattress to fully poof up. Let's look at let's look at our second product. A couple weeks ago, we got to explore a game camera. We got to work with a game camera from iZeeker. They were so happy with your response to that video, they wanted to do another one. iZeeker has sent us another trail camera. The box looks a lot like the last one. But let me tell you, this one's different. And it's different in that the night function 
the infrared LEDs are, 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 are invisible. So the box, I'm opening this well, and I'm not letting you see. This is what's in the box. We have the camera. Our strap, we gotta have that. Power cord or data cord. That's all that's in here. Looking at the game camera. We will need an SD card. And I have found that it's better to use a full size SD card rather than using a micro SD and adapter. It'll hold up to eight batteries, but it will work on four. Put it on a tripod. There's also a six volt power point somewhere here. So you can power that with a remote power supply. Maybe a, like a little solar panel trunk. Now I need to go find an SD card and we'll get her set up and take a look at it in the dark. Eight AA batteries. I have an SD card. Put it in test mode. There's quite a few functions. What we need to do now is go find a dark place and take a look at take a look at how those LEDs, if they shine or not, because that's what sets this apart of the no shine LEDs. Thank you for joining me in the bathroom. <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not here to do that. We're here to do this. The, the claim to fame for this iZeeker game cam is that there's no glow from the, the LEDs. There's no infrared light. So we're, going, we're here in the, the darkest room I could find. We're going to turn the camera on. And we're going to see if there's actually a glow coming from it, from this camera. And we're also going to look at the quality of the video as well as the audio from this camera. So let's turn off the lights and get the party started. We're counting down. We'll start with a countdown. But we should be recording. Now I, I can't see any lights coming from it. But when I look at the camera, the GoPro, you can see the glow of those lights. But I, I can't see them. That's, that's kind of crazy that the GoPro can see it, but I, I can't see it. That's a good thing. That means our critters can't see us. Now we, now I 
just need to put this out and see if we can capture some critters. Well, let's see if we can capture a bunny, rabbit, or some birds. Yappy's happy. She said that is that is her preferred now is her preferred bunk setup. I'm very happy with very happy. I'm very happy Yappy's happy. <clears throat> so Yappy is happy. She said this is most comfortable. I, I agree, this is really comfortable. We need to test just the just the camping mattress. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah, I could sleep here. I'm a side sleeper, so this really works good at keeping the hip bone off of the ground. All right, now we need to pack it up. I really like the the bottom Ready to go. Packed and ready to go in its waterproof bag. Man, that is awesome. Ah. All right, on to the next one. Our next video sponsor for this edition of Friday's Finds is Say Go Go. And there's a <laughs> So a theme, kind of a theme going here. So Say Go Go have sent us a, a an auto mattress. It's a multifunctional SUV air and air SUV and camping air mattress. There you go. So let's take a look at this. If it actually looking at the picture. So on the picture here, we've got a big side and a small side. And supposedly, you can put it in multiple configurations. We're going to find out. Comes with a 12 volt air pump. And 
multiple adapters. <coughs> we have instructions. You know, it's 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 relatively heav heavy vinyl. Same same thing that you would find with most of your inflatable tent mattresses. So. I need to get power supply and we'll inflate it. So this part is designed to go in the footwell of the rear seat. We're going to have to have the SUV here to really put this to the test. But if you need, if you need a mattress, yeah, we need to put it in a, in Yappy's car and see how it fits. The mattress set up in the Infinity in the QX60. And that's that's like a perfect fit. Now if you just wanted to have the one side, if you were solo camping, you can deflate this side. And I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and do that and we'll be back. A half a bed in the back seat of the in the back of the SUV 
And there's one more configuration. Let me reset and I'll show you that. We've deflated the smaller side. We've deflated the, the pillow, the head part. And we've brought out the spacer to fill that void. So that, that would be perfect for a, sh a shorter person, shorter adult, or a kid. I don't know that you'd want... I guess your dog could, could get on there. You have to be careful, though, that dog nails don't dig into that, that vinyl. So that's, that's our... That's the SUV mattress. The SUV mattress. I think that's pretty handy. It'd be, it'd be good to, that'd be a good thing to have in reserve, just in case, you know. We have a, a bug out kit in there. Wouldn't be a bad thing to have in the bug out kit because it packs down pretty small. <laughs> and, and I must say, if nothing else, this thing, <laughs> this thing rocks. Uh, I was just amazed at how much, I, I know, I know, I know this is the simple things that get me excited. <laughs> All right, moving back over, we gotta, we gotta go finish up talking about the, the game cam. Let's go do that. I guess the cat's the reason I'm not getting any other critters out here at the at the bird feed station. The iZeeker No Glow Camera. I like it, but there seems to be an issue, not an issue, I, I guess it's an issue. It's it's zoomed in the, the lens. Is, so the you saw where the camera the camera was mounted here on the fence and with the other game cams we've tested you could see the bird feeders but with this one all you could see were the the poles now the farther out you got a little wider field of view but it's not a very not a real wide field of view and and i'm i'm wondering if maybe the motion sensor is is not as sensitive because there were there were several times that i walked in front of that camera and that footage never showed up and that that was during the day but i got a lot of footage when the wind was blowing and making the trees move i don't know I don't think it's as good as the, the previous iZeeker camera that I worked with, and I really like that one. Uh, I'm gonna say the, this one with the, the, the no glow is marginal. So that brings us, ooh, 
sun is bright. That brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. I want to give a special thanks to our video sponsors for this for this edition of Friday's Finds. Thank you so much. I always enjoy working with the products that you the share with me. If this is your first visit to Dude RV and you enjoy product videos, well, click on that subscribe button. I try to do this every Friday. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I'm, I'm truly honored. And for my patrons, I am so grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?